Hello guys, Janus here and today I'm bringing this video to you guys to discuss the top 5 ships in the One Piece Treasure Cruise game. And these ships are really awesome guys, try to get them right away as soon as possible in this game because they will make your game a lot more easier. So let's start with this, so we start with the number 5. The number 5 ship is the Moby Dick okay why because it reduces the hp to 50 percent at the start of adventure which seems to be pretty bad but wait a minute boost crew attack by 1.5 times like 50 percent uh, attack boost and the hp is boosted by 1.4 times that means 40 percent of hp boost to the entire game units so that's really good guys because of the 40 percent of hp boost that is no joke it's really really a good stat boost and that's really great guys and the next one is obviously the number four. In the number four, we have the Flying Dutchman, okay? The Flying Dutchman right over here, this one. Let's get into its uh, speciality. Boost, crew's attack by 1.5 times, that means 50% of attack boost, and pirate EXP earned by 1.5 times. So guys, that is the most special thing about it. It actually boosts up the pirate experience that you can earn from this game so you can level up pretty quickly and with higher type of like you know higher pirate level you can actually uh include a lot more variety of teams in your group as it will uh, increase your cost capacity right so you can um, uh you know like entertain more legends in your team or else you will be limited to the cost limit which can be really pain <laughs> right even though if you have legends you are not able to use them if you don't have a proper cost capacity so with the higher pirate level you will be able to use a lot more teams um, you know like a lot of variety of teams so that is really great guys pirate exp is really good and then uh, special okay so it has a special as well unlike moby dick moby dick really doesn't have any special but hey flying dust mine has special and it is really useful guys it reduces all enemies defense by 25 turn 25% for one turn so that is really great guys even though the defense uh, reduction seems to be really like small even though it's 25% but nonetheless it is a defense break so what happens is that like there are some units in this game like let's say cavendish which which can actually increase the attack against the enemy units which have a reduced defense state by like 1.5 times or 1.75 times or something like that so this is really awesome guys with this ship i will be able to use Cav cavendish in the team which will further boost the attack okay of my team or let's say the I can burst more easily so that's really great guys and now let's move on to the number three ship which is the best one okay one of the best ship in this game which is the revolutionary army blackbirds ship okay it actually belongs to sabo but you can actually use it for uh you know uh, big mom pirate okay i mean like the the legend big mom okay she's also like the same and you can use it for any kind any sort of like teams which only includes like uh, strength decks and the quick units okay so let's uh, look into the characteristics of this uh, or let's say the speciality of this ship so it reduces special charge time by one third at the start of quest boost crews hp by 1.2 times that means 20 percent of the hp boost which is so good guys hp boost is always a great thing welcome it with the open heart guys and if the crew has strength dex and quick units characters boost strength dex and quick characters attack by 1.55 times okay there is actually a very big difference between 1.5 times and 1.55 times okay uh in the beginning it might not seem like really that huge uh, attack boost but guys when you play the game it really matters a lot especially when you are dealing the damage in millions it really shows up it really adds up okay and reducing special charge by one turn at the startup quest oh my god that is op guys i re i really am in love with this ship uh, i really like to use sabo that's why okay because of this ship the sabo has really you know like a top notch okay even though he's now being like uh, you know like an old-fashioned legend right now but still with his ship he's still in the top notch okay and now the next one the number two is obviously the junisha ship okay well consider one of the best ship in this game why because let's look into its characteristics it will show you why boost powerhouse and cerebral characters attack by 1.55 times and hit points by 1.25 times 
Oh my god, just look at that. 1.55 times attack boost, okay, that is already great. And the HP by 1.25 times, so great guys, so great. And makes their RCV and TND tandem slots having matching slot effects. <laughs> that is the, you know, like bread and butter thing of this ship, guys. RCV and TND is considered as beneficial orbs, so... That is so good guys, that is so good, you know like this is that kind of ship that is really making our game much more easier guys. Having matching slot, slot effect meaning that we will be having much more easier time in clearing out the contents. And making it much easier to land perfect strikes. See guys, oh my god, this ship is gonna help us clear the content very easily in no time, okay, very very easy. And now moving on to the number one, okay. Now it's called the special event ship, okay? Uh, <laughs> like this one because like it's only uh, uh, existing for a certain period of time and after that period of time is already over then it will not uh, uh, boost uh, by a significant amount for the entire crew. But hey, recently the new event has just arrived which is called the 4th anniversary, anniversary ship. So I will tell you how to get it, okay? So, uh, the 4th anniversary ship is just right over here, you can get it by just clicking on this one and then it really appears only during the certain types of event, especially during the anniversary events, okay guys? So if you have the anniversary events going on, then like just put your eyes, okay? On those kind of events where you can get this kind of ship, if you get this kind of ship, these are the ships which are the best in this game. Now let's try to acquire this ship first. And then I will discuss about its properties. Why is it considered the best ship in the game of One Piece Treasure Cruise? Okay, so there we go. Let's let's beat this up. It's a zero stamina, right? And it is it consists of only I think three stages. Yes, so not a big problem, right over there. So let's beat the Frankie out of the map. Okay, even if you are like really a beginner, there is no problem in clearing out this content, guys. It's really easy. It's really 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 easy, guys. Very very easy. Very very easy. Okay, so there we go. We have already got our uh, anniversary ship right away now. <laughs> so let's get this done with. Let's keep this one right over here. And yes, we have the fourth anniversary ship right over here. The Thousand Sunny fourth anniversary model ready to make waves. Yes. So this ship, guys, is the best ship in the game. Why? Now let's discuss about it. So we just got him, uh, got it just like this. Uh, so it will, you have to keep your eye, okay, on uh, the events like this, which are going on. And guess what, guys? For the for this kind of special event type of ship, you really don't need to max them out. You don't. You really don't need to use any cola. They are already in the max level. So that's one benefit with them. And now just look at the features of this ship, guys. Boost crews attack by 1.5 times and boost pirate exp and berries earned by three times, guys. Three times. Limited time until February 23, okay, so today is February 12, so for the next uh, 11 days, this ship is gonna be in the effect, and this ship rules, guys, this ship rules, this ship is so good, guys, especially if you guys are beginner and you really want to get a lot of pirate uh, level, I mean, like, you want to get to a higher pirate level in no time, then this ship is the way to go, guys, normally, it's the Flying Dutchman, right, but right now, it's the... Uh, you know, the the fourth anniversary ship right now, the fourth anniversary ship right now, okay? So, this ship is gonna give us a huge amount of parity XP bonus and the bait is earned by three times. So, this is really good, guys. And after this event, obviously, after the February 23, starting from February 24, right? So, this ship is actually gonna uh, be changed into the another speciality, meaning like it will boost the cruise attack by 1.5 times still, but boost... Uh, I mean like not boost, it will uh, put the special, it will recharge the special or it will charge the special of the entire crew to the max level at the very beginning of the battle guys. Just look at here, right over here. So uh, I will show you in a very, you know, like how to say this, uh, in a very game method way. Right over here, just let's go into the topic right over here. And then we will be able to see like what it's gonna do after February 23. So right over there, one thing I really 
don't like about this game is that it takes really a long time to load guys it really takes a long time to load so this one right over here guys celebrate the four years with the special thousand sunny uh ship right and in the february 22 onwards to february uh, march 3 boost to your cruise attack by 1.5 times and sets the special gauge to max at the start of the quest see guys special gauge to max at the start of the quest you really don't have to stall over and over again you can easily clear any kind of content in this game so fast you know like just just it's really that easy guys it's really that easy uh having a special gauge set to max at the start of the quest is so good guys so good very easy very fast farming very fast game ending you know like game clearing really really good guys really really good especially if you are going through the adventure island and trying to get the gems out of them so that you can uh, you know collect them up for the upcoming sugar fest this is the way to go guys this is the way to go that how you can actually uh get or clear all the island maps or adventure maps as soon as possible so that you can have a lot of gems in your inventory and then get a lot of pulls so i hope good luck for you guys for the upcoming anniversary event which will be happening very soon and i have already been collecting gems so far it's already 460 gems and let's see if i can actually make it up to 500 gems and then i will be making a very mega video about this sugar fest that's coming up upcoming in the fourth anniversary and i am so excited about this guys wish you good luck about that one and this is it for today guys i hope you enjoyed this video please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button to keep enjoying spicy contents like this in the near future and uh, guys please leave your opinions and views about this video about your own opinions if you guys disagree with this video please let me know about that in the con uh, comment section below as well and see you guys in the next video